Now we're joined by head coach, Andy Kirk. Uh, coach, exciting time. Opening day is fast approaching. Got the girls back on campus and practicing. Talk a bit about the excitement uh, for getting back and getting ready for this season. Man, we're, we're so excited. I mean, it just seems like it's been forever since we saw the kids, you know, with, with the long layoff that we had. Well, you know, we had a good fall and everything, but we're just excited to get back out and, you know, get good weather, get on the dirt, you know, run around, throw some balls, hit some balls, and just get back in the flow of it. Okay, well, last season uh, had some very big success, ranked number two nationally uh, during the season, regular season conference championship, runner-up in the conference tournament, advanced to regionals, uh, you know, just talk about last season a little bit, what y'all learned, because uh, you do have a lot of sophomores coming back from that team this year, and what you expect this season. Yeah, two two totally different seasons, you know, coming off the 2020 season, uh, we had a lot of returners and from the uh, World Series team, and really excited, then COVID hits, uh, all those transfer out, we only have four kids coming back off that team, so last year was really just unexpected, didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, had a lot of freshmen we thought were really good, had some good, those four veterans, you know, that were back were going to be contributors, but we didn't know what was going to happen, and they just shocked the world. I mean, they just played really good, consistent all year. We pitched it really good in the circle. Uh, you know, we just uh, got timely hitting. We scored runs. You know, like, like you said, we got to our highest ranking ever in the program history and finished the season ranked fifth in the country. I mean, it was just uh, totally unexpected for last year. Okay, well. You have eight people coming back from that team this year, including two All-Americans in the circle there, and Madison Jenkins and Emily Robinson, who is also Conference Pitcher of the Year. You know, just talk about these eight sophomores and uh, what you expect out of them this year, or look from look from them this year, and what the message is that they're instilling instilling in these freshmen. Yeah, it's uh, one of the most experienced groups we have had back. You know, as a old baseball coach and uh, been in softball now for almost 19 years, uh, you're always told you want to be strong up the middle. And if you look at our roster, that's where we're at. We're strong up the middle and we're strong up the middle with sophomores. Uh, like I said, you start with those two All-American pitchers, Emily Robinson, Madison Jenkins. Uh, we've never had two freshman All-Americans coming back. Uh, then you add uh, Kamaya Hampton right behind them. So now you've got three that we're expecting a lot of good things coming out of Kamaya. I mean, she's just really improved a lot as she's uh, grown. She came here young, and uh, we, we expect her to have a big sophomore year. Uh, and then staying up the middle, you got Kara Hayes as a catcher, local kid here from Morville, batted in a three hole all last year. Uh, you always want to, that's where we start out recruiting, is pitch and catch, you know. So we got Kara there. Then you go to shortstop, we got Katie Boatner back, who can just fly. She makes all the plays. Hannah Henry at second base, a consistent second baseman for us. Uh, hit kind of in the middle of the order for us last year. She's going to uh, bat more leadoff this year, and we're expecting a big sophomore year for her. She's getting a lot of scholarship offers and stuff, a lot of people looking at her. And then you go out center field, Mackenzie Patterson, a uh, third-year Kobe kid who had tremendous years. She's had tons of uh, schools looking at her. She batted leadoff for us last year. We're going to move her down the lineup a little bit this year, so she gets a little bit more RBI opportunities and stuff, but she can just uh, a five-tool player. Uh, then you throw in the right field, you got Connor Stevens, who bats right in the middle of our order, and she's our backup catcher as well. So, you know, out of that group, they're just uh, a lot of experience. Uh, they did a really good job in the fall of bringing these freshmen along because, you know, you're a team. You play nine at a time, but you got to have pitchers and you got to have hitters. You got to have people come off the bench, and we're expecting a lot out of this freshman group. When I've talked to some of these uh, sophomores this year, one word that they've said about this freshman class so far is they're aggressive and they're getting after it, hard workers. So I know that's what you recruit and you want that. So yeah. just briefly talk about this freshman class and how they are being aggressive, trying to earn that playing time with so many sophomores ahead of them. Yeah, it'd be very easy, you know, for a kid. Uh, you think about these freshmen, you know, they went through the COVID uh, deal as they were uh, juniors and stuff. Now a lot of them had big senior years, but when they signed, they didn't know that this group of sophomores we're going to have such great freshman seasons and stuff and they have not backed down one bit at all they have just stepped up they are fighting for positions uh for those corner infield positions for left field for other things they are pushing the sophomores and that's what the sophomores want they want them to push them and we got to develop i mean we are a two-year school every year is different every year is separate you got to keep you know staying after it and everything but we're excited about the freshman group we got some good pitchers they're going to come in they're going to give us some innings, and we got several that's going to hit in the lineup as well. Okay, now you did mention about keeping it up the middle there earlier. Just go back briefly. 
Talk about that, having that, how important it is having that battery return with experienced pitcher, with an experienced catcher that they can trust. Oh, yeah, that's tremendous. Uh, you know, for a guy that calls all the pitches and stuff, to have a catcher back there that I know she's going to be honest with me. Our pitchers know she's going to be honest with me when they're on. She's, they're, she's going to stay on it. And when they're off, she's going to let me know. She's going to work with the umpires. Uh, all the umpires in our league know who she is. She's just uh, Kara's just uh, like a bull in a china shop. She's going to get after it. She's going to play hard. You're going to get everything she's got, and our pitchers love throwing to her. All right. Well, lastly here, Coach, just uh, let's talk about goals for this season, uh, what, you expe what you not expect, but what you want to accomplish by the end of the season. Yeah, you know, uh, you, it's like a, you create your own uh, – can be your own worst enemy at times. You create your own pressure and stuff, but our kids don't feel that. They just play hard. We're the only program, you know, in the last three seasons, not counting the COVID year, that's either finished first or second in our conference uh, regular season championship or the conference tournament, which is just an awesome goal. I mean, that's just unreal what we've done. The one thing we do have this year, we got a very experienced team, and it's a good year to have a good experienced team because we probably got the toughest schedule we've had since I've been here. We're going to be road warriors. Um, you know, there's always going to be five teams that are going to be ranked in the top 20 in the country. We think we'll be one of the, you know, with two All-Americans and all the returns we got, we should be ranked in the top 10 in the preseason. Um, how are you going to live up to that? You know, you're going to have a bullseye on your back. Everybody's going to give you your best game. Uh, but we expect to be right there in the mix. Everybody knows it doesn't matter. We're going to show up every day. Every day is a battle with yourself. It doesn't matter who the opponent is. We're just going to get after you, you know, get after you and see what we can do and take care of ourselves. And I think this group is committed to that. They're not worried about expectations, winning championships. Uh, they just know if they put in a body of work in practice, it'll show up on game days. And then on game days, you know, it's just fun. It's just fun. You get out there and you compete against the best of the best, and that's why they came here. They want to compete against the best of the best, and I think we'll have a good shot at the end, and that's the main goal, getting the playoffs. Anything can happen. You know you're going to play some of the top ten teams in the country in the playoffs in our state, in our region, and uh, we're just ready to kick it off and get after it. Might be a little while before I get to the bank. That's an incomplete pass. Let's give it a renaissance replay. Renaissance Mobile check deposit. Make the right call and open an account with Renaissance today.